Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Boss man, CNB Outdoors, how everybody doing today? I'm out here messing in the yard, man, and messing with this grill today. So, before you uh, before you put in the meat on this grill, you got to let this grill smoke for 45 minutes to get rid of any foreign uh, matters. And uh, so I'm about to do that so we can go and get that part out the way. So, when I get ready to grill some meat, all I got to do is come out here and and she ready Freddy. So we're going to do that right quick. And uh, I've been working out here in the yard, man. I've been trimming uh, trimming uh, bushes, bushes from around, you know, the base of the trees and cleaning the, cleaning the base of the trees up so they can look nice and pretty. And uh, and uh, that's it, man. So let's get started on this grill. So here go your initial fine up instructions. And they tell you step by step what you need to do. So first thing we need to do is uh, we need to get everything out the grill. We need to open the hopper and make sure it's clear and then plug this bad boy up. All right, so next is say we got to turn the grill on, put it in a smoke position, and uh, check the auger, check and make sure the fan is blowing, and check check and make sure the heating rod, the hot rod is heating up. So let's do that. So turn it on. Turn it on, put the dial on smoke. I hear the fan. They say wait for a minute or two to check and see if the auger is turning. Here go the hot rod. So you should have a temperature number in your LED display. If you don't, Houston, we got a problem. Temperature. All right, the auger is starting to turn. That's your auger down there. It's turning. We got heat. So once that's complete, now I say turn to the shutdown cycle. Now it's on the shutdown cycle. And uh, that fan is gonna stay running for about 10 minutes, so don't worry about that. Next, we gotta fill the hopper with pellets and then turn the dial on high. It takes some time for the pellets to travel through the tube. Once the pellets start to drop, turn the temperature dial to the shutdown cycle again. It's say leave the grill on until it shut off automatically and then turn it to the, turn the dial to the smoke position. A lot of pellets to, a lot of pellets to come to full flame and once they come to full flame, 
coming out the fire pot, then turn the temperature dial to shutdown cycle and let the grill cool down. Sound like a lot, but it's really not. So next what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna fill this hopper up so y'all stay tuned. All right, we got the hopper filled. So next is say, turn your temperature dial to high. I go high right there. All right, so now you gotta get a pellet's time to travel through the tube and drop down into the fire pot. And once they, once they get to the fire pot, then you're supposed to, uh, Turn your dial back to the shutdown cycle. Sound like I hear him traveling. All right, the pill is dropping, so now it say, put your temperature dial back to the shutdown mode. All right, so once the pill is started dropping, we switch the temperature dial back to the shutdown cycle. So next, it say just leave the grill alone until it automatically shut off. And then once it automatically shut off, then we got to put the temperature dial back on smoke. So y'all stay tuned. All right, the grill shut off. So the next step is to uh, allow pellets to come to full flame. Once full flames are coming out of the fire pot, turn the temperature dial back to the shutdown cycle. And then let the grill cool down. So that's the next step. on smoke so the temperature dial is on smoke now we got to wait till the pellets come to full flame all right so now the pellets are at full flame so it says shed it off Now it's saying, let the grill cool off. All right, the grill's starting to cool down now. All right, once the grill cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and put the grills back in. Then we're gonna set the temperature dial to smoke, close the lid, and let the bad boy run for 45 minutes. And that's it, so y'all stay tuned. All right, so the grill done cooled down, so we're gonna go ahead and put the components back in it.
Yo, yo, yo. All right, so the grill done cooled off. We got the components back in place. So the next step is to uh, put your temperature dial on smoke. And once it starts smoking, close your lid, set your temperature dial on high, and uh, let that bad boy go for 45 minutes. So we put it on smoke. on smoke all right so now we just gotta wait till the bad boy starts smoking and then i'm gonna crank the temperature dial all the way up to high and we're gonna let it go for 45 minutes and uh that's it people that's all she wrote all right we got smoke people we got smoke so next thing you say crank that crank that bad boy all the way up to high It's on high. Close everything up. And that's it, people. We're gonna let that bad boy run for 45 minutes. And uh, then I'm gonna shut it down, then it's gonna be ready Freddy. I hope y'all enjoyed that hog video last night. I was sitting in there eating my Whopper with cheese and uh, I got a notification. You know what I'm saying? You don't disturb me while I'm eating, man. That's a no-no, man. So that hog already spoken for, so there will not be a catch clean cook on this hog. And besides, my smoker not ready. But on the next one, I guarantee you, it'll be ready. And y'all ain't gonna believe this. After I shot that hog, I had a whole nother herd come out later on that night. And that's it, man. We're gonna let this bad boy run and I'm gonna get on up out of here. Appreciate you tuning in. I hope this video will help somebody one day that's, that might be interested in getting a, a pellet grill. But that's it, man. I'm going to get on up out of here, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all stay tuned for the next one, man. I'm out of here.